Okay, so once it's cut, then you put it there and then you continue the process and you repeat over and over again. So you have a seam, 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 seam. So none of the seams are exactly alike and they won't line up either. Okay, so once your floor is done, you want to put something heavy on it to help weigh it down. Okay, so now if you have flooring left over, what you can do is you can take a knife or razor blade. Of course, I got to do this in an awkward position. And just cut it down. Looks better this way for me. If I don't stop hitting the tripod, maybe. And these are really, really thin, so they just kind of peel right off. Then you can take your 400 grit sandpaper and sand it. I have to put some more glue on there. Okay, so the flooring is done, but I can tell you I don't really like using the candle wicks. I thought it would be nice, but some of it goes down fine and then others buckle up like you've had a bad wash um, but in the meantime you can take your glittery board and you can glue that down I was originally going to use Mod Podge but since that fabric took up so much more space then I decided to go ahead and just do the hot glue. Alright, so now that's in place. Another thing for your pleats, if you want them more even, you can actually glue the fabric around some popsicle sticks. But by the time you put the front on this and the back on this, you're never going to see any of it so I don't really care and by the time you put the seats and all in there it's not really gonna matter all right do the same thing with the rest of it okay so for the excess you just want to go ahead and take your blade and very carefully cut that off of there and then that's it all right the next thing you need to do is decide how big you want your screen to be I've already cut mine with the paper cutter. And then you just glue it in place. Okay, so for the screen, I'm just gonna glue the back of it with some hot glue. And you have your choice of either framing it in or not framing it in. It's completely up to you. Okay, so for the trim, what I did is I took some coffee stirring sticks and some duct tape, and I taped it over, and now I'm going to just fold this around, just like that. Okay, so once it's folded, then I went ahead and folded it the rest of the way and wrapped it around.